So it's finally here. Back on February 15th, INQ announced that they would be opening the doors to the first dedicated quantum computing manufacturing facility in the United States. And one of the reasons why I'm so bullish on the quantum computing company INQ, despite the fact that they're not a profitable company yet, has been the combination of leadership, technical achievements, and the physical expansion of this company. And couple that with the fact that there are just so many use cases for quantum technology, including energy, automobiles, and healthcare sectors. And not to mention, artificial intelligence also synergizes nicely with quantum technology. And being that AI has made some huge leaps in video quality just within the last year alone, I think it's going to be really interesting to see all the ways that quantum technology can help AI. Anyway though, back to this announcement. This new facility that INQ opened will be located in Bothell, Washington, which is a suburb in the area of Seattle. So as part of this whole announcement regarding the expansion, they're essentially increasing their presence in Seattle from 65,000 square meters up to 105,000 square meters. And this facility is actually going to be INQ's second quantum data center. And the reason that this is so significant is because this center is going to be providing cloud access to INQ customers. Because remember, another reason I love INQ so much is that they're offering customers access to quantum power through cloud services like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. So being that INQ's primary production engineering location is currently in the United States, it's also going to house INQ's expanding research and development and manufacturing teams, including all the teams focused on the upcoming rollout of INQ Forte Enterprise and the INQ Tempo systems. Now keep in mind, this is the first factory in the United States that will manufacture quantum computers that are both replicable and deployable in customers' data centers. And I honestly think this is pretty cool, because currently, Silicon Valley has been thought of as the hub of technological innovation, and in many rights it still is of course. But when it comes to quantum computing, I think this new factory is going to help to mold the Pacific Northwest as a hub for quantum technology innovation. And this also means that this has the potential to create thousands of new jobs in the area for manufacturing. And if that wasn't enough for you, INQ even had a ribbon cutting ceremony about this announcement. That's how you know it's serious, when they bring out the ribbon. Furthermore, Washington State U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell, who is known as a strong advocate for science and technology, praised the company for its commitment to quantum innovation. So with that said, I truly do believe that quantum technology is rapidly going to spread over the next decade, and I think this last announcement helps to solidify that case. However, I urge you to check out my last video I made on INQ right here, where I go over yet another reason why INQ is a company that I'm betting on, and how their computers can be accessed from across the globe. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time.